What an ending. Oh god. Just parked up as you can see um, I'm in this sort of little car park on the it's not an industrial estate but it's a housing estate near to where the start line is apparently it's a two kilometer distance to the start point so I'm gonna get everything on the bike um, or get the bike put together make sure the, pump, uh, the wheels are pumped up and then I'm gonna cycle down there and on the way I'll just tell you what I'm doing today down to the start point which is what I'm actually doing now got my bag on the back there um, today is the uh, Reading triathlon um, I did enter the sprint distance um, and then I was niggling in the back of my mind that I wanted to do an Olympic or standard distance this year so I asked the organizer if I could uh, change and I could if I paid £10 extra so I paid the £10 and today I'm doing my first ever Olympic distance triathlon to break that down for you, that's a 1500 meter swim, it's a 44k bike ride which is 27 miles and then it's a 10.8k run which is 6.7 miles. I'm not too nervous about completing it because I can do all those distances uh, individually and to put them all together as long as I pace myself it should be fine. I'm really um, just looking forward to actually ticking off an Olympic distance on my to-do list really because it was what I wanted to do for this year. My, my aim this year was to do that distance. Last year it was a sprint, this year it was Olympic. It would have been far sooner but because of Covid and everything, half the events I had planned were all called off. All were just so, too difficult to, to get involved or were cancelled last minute, you know, everything like that. So I'm glad to hopefully get it done today. I've done a bit more research this time compared to last time on my last event a couple of weeks ago on the video I said I needed to do more planning and prep around the course what to expect I've done lots of that today and I've got it all uh, on my G on my, all on my Garmin computer all on my watch I've looked at the elevation the, the, I watched a video off the course so I know what to expect today I think I'm near the start now as well morning As you can see, I am now here. I'm just getting it all set up. Uh, transition is behind me. You can see everyone in there getting their bikes prepared and their running gear. Um, it's a few different waves today. I'm got in a white hat wave. So I start at 8.20 roughly, which is around 45 minutes away. So I'm pretty much ready now. I've got the stickers on the bike, uh, stickers on my helmet here, 276. Uh, I've got my race belt all set up, um, so I'm just going to get out of my clothing, put my heart rate monitor on, uh, get my wetsuit on and just start relaxing now I think. The race starts in about uh, 10 minutes, uh, start line is just over there. I've put my bag into the bag storage point, I've got the wetsuit on, goggles ready, hat ready. Everything set up, I think. Um, I'm just going to walk over now to get to the start area, and the next clip you'll see is hopefully me on the bike. So I'll see you in about one minute. Just got on the bike about two minutes ago. Swim was really good. 
went really smoothly actually. Uh, I have no idea where I am on the course in terms of uh, position, but who knows. Let's get on with the bike though. some food now. I've got a cliff bar which I've uh, chopped up into little bits. Well done. Keep up. <laughs> uh, two miles left according to the Garmin which is 10 minutes roughly. Been a good bike ride but my lower back is just killing me for some reason I'm not sure why it might be just core strength or something but it's really painful I've had one cliff bar I had a gel just before I got on the bike I've had quite a lot of water water and I'll probably leave it like that for now and I'll just get on with the run I've got a gel with me for the run as well so I'm looking forward to getting off the bike though Thank you. <laughs> what an ending. Oh God. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. I'm on a second lap now. Second of six. The heat is really difficult actually. It's very, very hot. Especially when you're in direct sunlight. I've got a bit of a stitch, my calf's a little painful again but I'm trying to keep it very calm, not going too fast I've still got another four and a half, five laps nearly so I just need to pace myself and the surface is also quite lumpy because it's grass <laughs> It's also quite annoying carrying this camera around I don't think I'll do this again Thank you. Thanks. Pretty good support. <laughs> Every lap, they've been like that. Lap four, complete off six. Two miles roughly to go. The final lap, six off six. And I'll tell you what, running around in circles is absolutely fucking hard work. <laughs> Oh, mentally it's just draining, sticking them off in your head. Six laps, last one and my calves are not too bad now, but I'm just ready to finish. Finish is just up here. About two minutes to go. <sighs> right, we are back home now. It's the day after the Reading Triathlon. Um, I have my medal here to prove I finished the event. And uh, I did complete the uh, Olympic distance uh, Reading Triathlon yesterday in a total time of three hours and 20 minutes. Um, some really good things came out yesterday, uh, some not so good things as well. And to be honest with you, the whole event uh, left me feeling a little bit deflated and a little bit demoralized. Um, to start with a positive, the swim was really, really good. Um, I did the 1500 meters in 34 minutes and 5 seconds. That is not fast. I, don't know, I know it's not fast, but for me, what, what I liked about the swim was it just flowed very, very well. I feel like I could have kept going. Um, at no point did I struggle. I was just in a real good rhythm and I just felt it working uh, the, whole, the whole time. So really happy with that. Moving on to the bikers, uh, where my main frustration lies, I think. Um, I did the 27 mile uh, route in one hour, 35 minutes. And the whole time I was on that bike, people were just pelting past me very, very quickly. And I just could not keep up. Despite the fact that I felt like I was pushing myself quite a lot. I, it was like I was moving through sludge. I was pedaling away and I just wasn't moving forward anywhere near as fast as I should have been. I think that just comes down to not training enough on the bike and not doing enough mileage per week and I really really need to increase that I think if I want to do uh, better in that part of the triathlons. 
onto the run, uh, it wasn't too bad. There was nothing particularly amazing about it. There's nothing really that bad. I did six and a half miles in one hour, five minutes. Um, I, it, I do want that to be quicker, obviously, but I'm not particularly upset about that at the minute. My main reason for feeling uh, demoralised, apart from the uh, part, bike part of the the event being quite poor, it's just the fact that despite all the training and uh, all the time and effort I seem to be putting in, I'm not getting any better in terms of where I am positioned in the results. I know I probably shouldn't really look at that and it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to win medals and I don't expect to or want to necessarily, but just I'd like to be higher up my age group really because every time I do an event and I look at the results, I'm pretty much bottom every time. And... It is frustrating because I don't feel like I'm really improving that much or uh, progressing that much and um, I thought I was training quite well and quite hard but the more I look at it now the more I think I'm not doing enough. You know doing 30-40 miles per week on a bike is just nowhere near enough. It has to be double or triple that I think and looking at my running as well, running 15 miles a week just isn't enough. I need to make that 25 or 30 miles. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to reevaluate what I'm doing and come up with some training ideas. Um, but yeah, I don't feel particularly happy about yesterday's event. I'm not trying to be too negative. I'm happy I've done the Olympic distance. Really happy I ticked that off and uh, I've achieved uh, that goal for the year. But my aim is 70.3 next year and I just need to improve and focus on that now. I hope that hasn't sounded too negative. It wasn't all bad. Thank you for watching. If you got this far, please like and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you next time.